Well, welcome back to Harvest 2015. It's log 14. So two weeks into harvest and uh, combine's been going really, really well today. We've cut nearly 40 hectares. Well, we will have cut 40 hectares if we can finish this field tonight um, and put just over 400 tonnes of milling wheat um, into the barn, all pretty much dry. I only had to dry a couple of loads first thing this morning, just as there was a bit of morning dew on the field. But uh, to get nice long combining days like that in, it's worth just putting the dryer on just to get those first few hectares opened up and under the belt. Uh, this is a variety called KWS Trinity. It's a milling wheat variety and we're growing this for seed. Uh, no idea on yield yet. It's the first field that we've cut. It's on very, very light sandy land. Um, plant population looks pretty good. Uh, it's not as thick as I would have it for our heavy land fields, but that's usually because moisture is a limiting factor on this ground. So uh, we don't want too thick a plant stand, otherwise it just ends up competing for, for the moisture, um, which, uh, which obviously then impinges on the yield. So the other crops that we've cut today, we've cut some gallant as second wheat. Uh, that's yielded really, really well. Very pleased with that. It was clean all year. It was very late planted, planted at the end of October. And um, it uh, just goes to show that even those later plantings when we're trying to delay drilling for blackgrass reasons. Uh, blackgrass was all chitted um, and sprayed off because they were seed bed technique before, um, before the crop was planted. Uh, just goes to show that even those later drillings in the right year can deliver significant yields. So we've got Rob on helping us cart today. Rob's a uh, local farmer's son with his tractor on his old trailer. And uh, so it's good to get a bit of local team spirit in to help us out uh, when we need a second, a second cart. With, uh, with Derek out planting stubble turnips today um, and finishing off the last of the cover crops that we're going to plant after the oil seed rake with the cross slot drill. So we're time now about eight o'clock. We've got a couple more hours to try and finish this field. Uh, combine was pushing on quite nicely, uh, sort of four and a half, five hectares an hour, getting on for uh, 45 tonnes an hour, um, not spot rate but sort of average running rate. So uh, it's been going really well. The, we're getting a bit more output out of the combine this year because we're able to leave the stubble. Um, my new assistant, that's Quinn. Uh, we're leaving the stubble quite high and uh, just chopping the straw here. This is due to go into winter barley afterwards. Um, that's enabled us to get able us to get uh, combining just that little bit faster because we're not putting so much material other than the grains um, through the actual machine itself. So forward speed is probably a kilometre, a kilometre and a half further forward than it would normally be. Uh, we're able to do that because um, with the change in strategy to direct drilling uh, we've got a machine that can cope with the amount of crop residue that we need. So that's actually quite helpful, that's cutting down our, our costs of harvest by not using so much diesel. I think when I looked at tea time we were cutting, we were using about 17 litres a hectare. Forecasted to have a few showers overnight and tomorrow, so we'll wait and see what happens. Um, but we've got plenty more wheat to go at, so uh, stay tuned to see whether or not we get rained off or whether we can carry on. Thanks for listening.